Alrighty, Leo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at the first week of November. We're heading towards the end of the year, and we're heading there very quickly. November's actually going to be a really good month. It's a period of heightened activity for you, both personally and professionally. Any changes involving property and lifestyle this month look to be highly favorable especially beginning this week on the 1st. You should not hesitate to toot your own horn or drink your own wine, as I did hear The Rock say, and I thought I liked that. When the moon lights up the most public angle of your solar chart on the 14th, a more daring approach to work projects gets you moving towards new success. Keeping in mind that mid-December, Mercury retrogrades again, fourth time this year we've had Mercury retrograding. And it's retrograding in Capricorn, your sixth house of hard work and health and well-being. So, and that's happening December 19. So, you know, December's not going to be a fabulous month. So you've got to really push for doing the most this month. Leo's November has all the elements to be a turning point for many of you. Make plans now because, as I said, later in December, Mercury is going retrograde. Your professional life has been extremely busy. Mars is still moving through your work sector. But soon, when Mars leaves this area, November 9, you'll be able to come up for air. In terms of your rising status, the full moon of the 14th, in Taurus may bring a whole new title, offer or other exciting news within four days of this date. So from the 10th to the 18th, be very aware of what's happening work-wise and be very ready to pull a, any trigger or say yes because remembering Jupiter in Libra is also sending you opportunities. Work you did as far back as six months ago may now come to fruition. Romance and fun will be in focus once the new moon arrives on the 29th, continuing on for two weeks. So for those of you who are hoping to get a proposal or wanting to give a proposal, the 29th is really a wonderful, wonderful date starting off on that new moon. Work hard at the start of the month so you can make time for love towards the end of the month and that's a good thing. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful month, Leos. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll speak to you again soon.